Since reporting is such a huge part of the reason for point of sale, we really want to take a few minutes and show you how the reporting feature within the system is going to work. So we're going to go to options, we're going to go to administrative, reporting, and this is going to be the window, okay? Now what I want you to see is the fact that we can search by a date range, we can do hourly reporting, uh, multiple hours, or we can do specific date ranges. Uh, and this is the category that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the category tree right here, we have sales, inventory, customer, employee, restaurant, and rentals, okay? So with respect to sales, you can see that there's this entire drop-down box right here that we can choose. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is a report we were talking about earlier with uh, exceptions. So uh, remember when you're creating job codes and creating permissions, you can log exceptions? Well, this is where these are going to be reported, okay? You can see specific invoice exceptions or operational exceptions right there and look at that report and see who did it and why and all those kinds of uh, really vital pieces of information with those logs of exceptions. All right, the other thing is you can uh, move on to something like inventory and list all of your inventory alphabetically uh, and export that as well. And I'll show you the export feature. Uh, you can export it to a variety of different file types, okay? Uh, we'll look at customers and you can see that you can look at your accounts receivable. You can also look at your outstanding or open accounts receivable invoices right here. So that's really great if you're going to pay things on account. For employees, you can look at hours and wages and then tips, commissions, etc. Uh, just a, a list of employees it's, and things like that. Sales by a specific um, employee. And then if you're going to have restaurant, you have these report features as well. And then rentals. Now, let's look at an invoice totals report in the sales, okay? So we're going to go back, let's just say a year. And we're not going to select a specific cashier or a department or a station or even a vendor category or one of the matrices that we uh, had created earlier. So let's display the report. So, we have three choices here. Do you want to view completed invoices, on hold invoices, or void invoices? For this exercise, we're just going to look at completed invoices. And this is what the report is going to look like. So you see it right here? If there's going to be multiple pages, they're going to appear right here. And I'll show you another report in just a few minutes that's going to give you that uh, style. So you see the date, the time, the store ID, uh, the invoice number, the customer number, and all of the financial information right there. And that's invoice totals report. Now let's look at our inventory listed alphabetically. Just click display, and you see there's multiple pages here, and I wanted you to see that. So you can skip over each page and can see all these different things right here. Now, if you want to export, you just press this button right over here, the far left button, export report, and you have these different file types you can choose, crystal reports, a PDF, Excel, uh, Microsoft Word, and rich text. So there's a variety of file types that you can choose. Now, Crystal Reports is going to be the module that was used to create all these reports. So you can actually extract the data into Crystal Reports. And if you have a programmer that knows that, they can populate a variety of uh, pieces of data for you. Um, let's also look at uh, one other report. And I'd like to go back to um, a specific report that is a daily summary report, OK? And I want to show you one specific thing with this. We're going to display this report. And this was just for today. And I wanted you to see that it's just very easy to see this grand total right here and how you can print this. If you, have, uh, if you want to save things in digital copies uh, in PDF, you can have PDF Creator. And you can also ex export this as well. And one last thing I'd like to show you with respect to reporting involves employees. Uh, basically, we're under the sales, operational exceptions. And one of the things I'd like to show you is that the default within the system is to have the same date, like today's date, 128. Um, it, it will be in both of these fields, and it will say 12 a.m. on both of these fields. So you want to be cognizant of the time. So set this as your, uh, the time that you're at, and then choose this time however you'd like for your past time. Okay? So when you're populating the report, that's something to keep in mind. So we're going to look at those operational exceptions right there that I was mentioning. So we're going to click All for all cashiers, and let's display this report. All right, so now we're going to put our administrative access in there. And this is a great report. Now, I want you to see this because uh, we're going to talk about the reason codes, and we're going to show you the setup screen in just a second. We have the cashier that performed these functions. We have the specific time that it occurred and the date. And then we have the, the specific functions that we're logging for exceptions, void invoices, open cash drawer, et cetera. So here's the cashier override and the cashier. So 
this is a vital report to knowing uh, anything you want to know. When you log things as exceptions, it's going to be very important to do that in an appropriate way to actually get your um, report to populate the correct information. But I wanted to show you this report uh, as, as another advanced report. And speaking of advanced reporting, let's actually show the advanced reporting module. Now, we don't, uh, we're not going to be diving into this uh, in, in, in a lot of depth, but I just wanted you to see that this is available. Now, uh, you're going to go through this wizard and set these things up, and basically what you're going to do is create formulas to be able to access data in the SQL, okay? Uh, and mainly what I want to show is the fact that we can do customer mailings, different customer reports, inventory sales, and other things like that. And this is where you're going to modify, duplicate, or delete a report. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, definitely call us at this phone number, 704-569-9968, and that's going to get all the advanced support that you need, okay? So, I just wanted to show you all the different reporting features, and hopefully that was a really good look for you. Now, well, let's move on.